Hi guys. I'll just uh, wait till we get a few people on. Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. We got, we got anybody? Yeah, we got. Sorry, guys. How are you doing? I hope you've had a, a fantastic Easter weekend. Um, it is Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So this class, we're gonna um, burn some of that Easter chocolate off. So the the one today, guys, is just gonna be um, pretty simple. We're gonna we're gonna do some shadow boxing. Then we're gonna do some um, shadow kickboxing, and then we're gonna take it from there with um, a new exercise which we're going to do, so obviously we're going to do um, two or three minutes of just boxing, shadow boxing, two or three minutes of um, kickboxing, shadow work, and obviously the, the, uh, we're going to do uh, a new exercise as well. So hi guys, hi Mark, hi Helen there. So I'm just going to quickly show the exercise that we're going to do in between the rounds. So you're going to be in a big wide squat position, and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to go down into a press up position, do one press up, come back, you're going to go back into that squat position. You're going to go down again, you're going to do a press up, come back into that squat. So it's a bit like a half burpee. So that's going to be in between your rounds. So, and I suggest you grab your gloves, grab your gloves and we're just going to get straight on with some, um, some shadow boxing. So I hope you guys are doing well. So I'll say nice and simple just to start with. So this shadow boxing guys, it just needs to be nice and light. Um, just up on your toes, throwing a few shots. You can be like a jab cross, can be some hooks, uppercuts. Just working on your air work, the shadow work for uh, three minutes. And then we're gonna go into that. So you're into that wide squat. You're down, press up, back up, and then squat, and then back up, and then back down again. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds, and then we're gonna get started. We're gonna go straight onto the shadow boxing. Up on your toes. Guard up nice and tight, and it can be just as simple as you just practicing your jab, crosses, stuff like that. We're going to go from now, so I'm just going to go about two minutes, two, two to three minutes. So you're just on that shadow boxing, you just jump on your toes, you can be practicing stepping onto that jab. Just simple stuff. Make sure you concentrate on your guard. It doesn't have to be anything really heavy, you don't have to be really powering them shots in. Just nice and light on your toes, nice and light with these shots. That's all it needs to be. That's it, just nice and light. Just doing some air work and some shadow boxing. That's it, that's all it needs to be. There we go. That's it. Always remember your breathing technique as well. Always just nice simple stuff. It could just be like a or any, any, any sort of noise that you want. <laughs> so it's just like That's it, just practicing your air work. That's it, keep going. We're gonna go for about another two minutes. So it could be simple stuff, it could be like a jab cross, hook cross, anything you want, double jab cross, anything you want guys, just working on your boxing, working on your agility as you're moving about. That's it, so just working a little bit of shadow boxing. That's it. Here we go, keep it going guys. That's it, so keep it going. Here we go. So just nice and simple stuff. You can think about your combos. It could be anything. It could be a jab, cross, hook, up, cut. It could be a double jab, cross. You can just throw it cross, hook, cross, anything you want. So think about the stuff that you want to throw. We've got about another minute and a half or so, so keep it going. So you're just doing some shadow boxing. That's it. Here we go. Always remember to keep your guard nice and tight. That's why you don't need to be rushing it. So just obviously keep it a bit slower. And you can work on your guard and stuff. That's it, up on your toes. Go to stepping onto that jab. It's nice and simple stuff. Like a double jab cross, uppercut, anything you want. That's it. That's it, keep it going, guys. That's it. You've got about another 15 seconds. We'll go for 15 seconds, keep it going. That's it. Here we go. That's it, and time. We're going to go straight into the exercise. So remember, you're going to start off in squat. You're going to start off in that squat. Jump down, do a press up. Squat back up, squat down. 
down, back up, up, squat, go to your press up, squat, you're going to go for one minute from now, so go up, so you're just in that squat position, go down, press up, back into squat position, back up, back down, that's it, keep going, so keep going guys, you've got about 50 seconds, so squat, down, press up, back into squat, back up, back down, press up, back up, back down, there we go, keep it going, you've got about 40 seconds, that's it, so nice and simple, squat, go into press up, then you press up, back up, squat back up, squat back down, that's it, back up, and then back up, that's it, keep going, you've got 20 seconds guys, keep it going, that's it, so squat down, press up, back up, squat, back down, back up, squat, back down. 10 seconds, keep going guys. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and time. Grab yourself a quick drink, catch your breath back, and then we're gonna go straight into um, full air work. So full kickboxing now. So this can be where you can practice whatever kicks you want. So it can be simple, same again. It can be like a jab, cross, hook. Practice in your round houses. You can go for your side kicks or something. It's entirely up to you. Practice whatever you want. So it can be so simple. You can be like front kicks. We're doing stuff like that, round houses. Spin hook kicks. This is your time to practice whatever you want. Your favorite kicks, your favorite punches. Keep on your toes. Keep agile. And then you just practice your stuff. So it can be simple. Jab, cross, hook, front kicks, side kicks, anything you want. So I'm going to give you five seconds. And then we're going to go for a big three minutes on this one, guys. So three minutes of kickboxing air work. And go. So three minutes. So it could be anything you want. It could be like a double jab, cross. It could be a front kick. It could be anything you want. That's it. Hey. Just practice the stuff, you can always practice in your opposite stance. So you can be like jab cross, that's it. Switching your stances back, just practicing your kicks. So you can be like side kick, semi side kick, hook kick, back to some punches. That's it, keep it going. Just keeping those toes. That's it. Just keeping it nice and simple. So keep going guys, you've got about another two minutes. So it could be as simple as jab, cross, hook, round downs. Gonna go for a rear round downs. Front kicks, side kicks, hook kicks. Adding some punches on. Anything you want. That's it, keep it going. So it could be anything, it could be a jab, cross, hook, uppercut. It could go for a rear round downs. Front kicks, side kicks. That's it. So it could be, you could be obviously practice like a punch style thing. You could be on your side. You could be on them side kicks and back fists. Anything you want. Just keep practicing. That's it. That's it. If you want to practice some jumping kicks, you can practice your jumping kicks. You're just keeping it going. You've got about a minute, 15 seconds left. Keep it going, guys. That's it. So we've got one minute left. So keep it going, you're up on your toes. Just doing that. That's it. Keep it going. So we've got 50 seconds left. So it could be anything you want. That's it. You can switch your stance over. That's it, keep it going. You've got, you've got 40 seconds left. That's it, keep it going. So keep on them toes. And as I say, when you're doing your air, air work, uh, kickboxing, it can be just nice, simple stuff. It can be simple stuff like keeping your stance, three straight punches, side kick. Or it could be like three straight punches, rear side kick. It's entirely up to you. You've got 20 seconds left, keep it going. That's it. Keep it going, so anything you want. 
That's it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And straight to the exercise again. So back into that squat. Down, push up. Squat, back up, back down. Push up, back up, back down. That's it, keep going. We've got about 50 seconds on this one. So you start off in that squat position, quite a wide leg. Put your hands on the floor, go down, squat, back up. There you go. That's it, keep it going. We've got 20 seconds left. Keep it going. So that's it, wide leg squat. Down into press up. Do your press up, back up into squat. Then stand up, back down, back down, that's it. Keep going, you've got it's about 20 seconds. Keep going. That's it, keep it going, guys. There we go, keep going. Squat, push up, squat, back standing up. Keep going, we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, and time. Grab yourself a drink, catch your breath back. And then we'll get straight on. Woo! Hi guys. I don't know about you, but it's a bit warm. Woo! So we're gonna stick with this um, type of format for this. So it's a bit more of a cardio. Um, so you're, still, you're still obviously practicing your, your kickboxing, as I say that air work, it, um, I do it quite a lot at home, obviously if you've got a big mirror, you can do your, air, you can do your shadow boxing in the mirror, obviously the same with the um, kickboxing, perfect to be um, doing air work at home, practicing your kicks and stuff, so this one is going to be, uh, I've just got to have a quick look, oh that's nice and easy, so this one's going to be two and a half minutes, and it's just going to be cardio based again, but this one is just going to be nice and simple. It's just going to be jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook, jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross, hook, hook. You can move on your toes, then you can you get in, jab, cross, hook, hook, back out, jab, cross, hook, hook. That's it. So we're going to go for two minutes. It's entirely up to you. You can do it slowly, you can go at a high pace. It's not a competition. So as I say, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you two minutes, so it's just you're up in your, in your boxing stance, you keep it up on your toes, you're stepping onto that jab, cross, hook, hook. So it's a jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook. And we're going to go, two minutes. So just, that's it, it's just that nice high pace, so it's just back up, that's it, back up, that's it, keep it going. So nice and simple, but obviously quite effective. In the cardio, so it's just jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook. Make sure you're swinging your body, twisting your body, should I say, not swinging your arms as much, keeping that, keeping them elbows tight. So you get your jab, cross, elbows kept tight, chin height, you're twisting, get some of my body's twisting over, and I'm twisting back that way. That's it. Keep it going, so it's just jab, cross, hook, hook. Step onto that jab, jab, cross, hook, hook. There we go. That's it. I did that wrong. <laughs> Keep going. We've got about another minute. So just at that high pace. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Back up, take a couple of steps back maybe. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Step back. Jab, cross, hook, hook. That's it. Keep it going. You've got 45 seconds left. Woo. So that's it. Just at a nice high pace. You can be up on you. If you need to catch your breath back, guys, obviously you can just, uh, just keep on your toes and then straight back into it. Back up. Back up. That's it. Keep going. 20 seconds. That's it. Keep it going. That's it. So it's just jab, cross, hook, hook. Jab, cross, hook, hook. That's it. Jab, cross, hook, hook. That's it, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and straight back into the exercise again for a minute. So that's wide squat, down, back up, down, up, down, 
Back up. I'm gonna go for a minute. Go. Woo. So I say you start from quite a wide leg. Go down. It's like a bit of a burpee. Press up. Back up with your wide leg. Stand up. Back down. That's it. Push up. Back up with that wide leg stance. Back up. Keep going. You've got about another 30 seconds. That's it. Keep it going, guys. It's a wide leg. Touch down. Bring your legs back. So I say from this angle, wide leg. I've touched on the floor. I've done my push up. Back up. Wide leg. And then stand back up. Keep going. You've got another 20 seconds. Keep it going. So wide leg. Touch the floor. Push up. Back up. Squat. Back up, there we go, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time guys, grab yourself a drink, catch your breath back, and then we'll get straight on. Whew. Whew. Hope you guys are doing well. Sweat test, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't eating too much chocolate over the weekend. I say chocolate, you're probably all being on alcohol. What's the fashionable drink these days, gin? <laughs> That's it. So I'll give you another 10 seconds, guys, just to catch your breath back. Whew. So as I say guys, we're gonna stick with the same format. This one's gonna be nice and simple. So same again, we're gonna go for about two minutes. And for this one, it's nice, nice and simple. It's just gonna be a jab. You're gonna be the boxing stance. Guard the tight all the time. In your boxing stance, you're gonna be a jab. Cross, you're gonna go for a lead uppercut, which is my left, left, left hand. So you're gonna go for a lead uppercut, so you're gonna go jab, cross, lead uppercut, and then we're gonna fire this um, rear, rear front kick, I completely forgot it was then. Rear front kick, which is my right leg. So you're gonna be a jab, cross, the uppercut, front kick, one right to the back. So from this angle, it would be a jab, a cross, the uppercut, and then you're firing that rear front kick, landing to the back. So we're gonna go for two minutes. Uh, we're gonna go for five seconds. I said nice and simple. It's gonna be that jab, cross, lead uppercut, rear front kick. Try and get a snap on that front kick. So you get a nice, nice little snap. You've got your jab, cross, uppercut, snap. That's it. So keep it going, guys. So it's just your jab, cross, that lead uppercut. From there, guard up nice and tight. Rear front kick. So it's just. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep it going. So it's a cardio based um, class, but obviously you're still, you're still working on your technique at the same time. So you don't always have to do it fast. Jab, cross, uppercut. As you can see, my backhand's nice and tight when I'm throwing that uppercut. And then my guard's nice and tight when I'm throwing that rear front kick. So keep going, guys. You've got about a minute, 10 seconds or so. So it's just jab, cross, lead uppercut, rear front kick. Jab, cross, uppercut, front kick. As I say, if you need to catch your breath, just go onto your toes, give yourself 10 seconds or so, catch your breath back, and then straight back onto it. Jab, cross, uppercut, rear front kick. Jab, cross, uppercut, rear front kick. Jab, cross, lead uppercut, rear front kick. That's it, keep it going. That's it, so it's just. That's it. That's it, keep it going. We've got about another 30 seconds or so. So it's a nice and simple jab, cross, lead up a cut, rear front kick. Jab, cross, lead up a cut, rear front kick. Jab, cross, up a cut, rear front kick. Keep going. You've got 15 seconds left, guys. That's it. That's it, keep going. You've got 10 seconds. That's it, you've got five, four, 
Three, two, one. I'm going to go straight into mount climber position. You can keep the gloves on, but what we're going to do is you're going to do it with two, you're going to do it with both legs at the same time. So you're just going to be like that. We're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to go from far, and we're going to go now. Go. So you're just doing double leg. Really working them abs. Obviously, this part's working your chest and your arms as well. Just double leg, that's it. That's it, keep it going. Keep that going, guys. Keep it going. That's it, keep it going. We've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And time. You need to get yourself a quick drink. Grab yourself a quick drink again, guys. Woo! I'm feeling it. <laughs> so this one, another nice and simple one. So we are gonna go, we're gonna start off with our boxing stance again. Get it nice and tight. This time we're gonna throw it across. Then we're gonna throw that lead uppercut again. Then we're gonna go for a rear hook. And then you're gonna turn yourself back to go for a lead roundhouse. So it is just cross, lead uppercut, rear hook. Lead roundhouse. Nice and simple. We're going to go for about two minutes again. So one more time. You're going to be in, in your boxing stance. You're going to go across. Lead uppercut. Rear hook. Turn to your side. Lead side kick. Remember to put a, a pivot on that. As we all know, when I throw that kick, my heels facing the same way as my opponent. Opens up your hips. So we're going to go from five seconds. So one more time. Stance. Cross. Lead uppercut. Rear hook. Lead roundhouse. And um, we're going to go from now, two minutes or so. So nice and simple. Cross, uppercut, rear hook, lead roundhouse. That's it. So you open your stance, that crosses are coming across your body, and then that lead uppercut, that rear hook, turn to the side, and then go for that lead roundhouse. That's it. So keep it going. So it's just cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. That's it. You can grip onto your toes. Cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. That's it. So keep it going. So nice and, nice and simple. Cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. Cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. Keep it going. We're going to go for about another minute. So you can be up on your toes. Remember to plant your feet. Cross, uppercut, hook, lead roundhouse. Cross, ah, cross, uppercut, hook, lead roundhouse. That's it, keep it going. We've got about 45 seconds. So let's say, cross, uppercut, that hook punch, lead roundhouse. Remember to keep that back end nice and tight when you throw that lead roundhouse. Cross, uppercut, rear hook, lead roundhouse. That's it. Keep it going. We're going to go for about another 30 seconds. Cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. There we go. And cross, uppercut, hook, roundhouse. There we go. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, this time we're just going to go 30 seconds of star jumps straight away, so go! So just doing 30 seconds of star jumps. That's it, keep it going. That's it, you've got 15 seconds. That's it, keep it going. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and time. Grab yourself another drink, and then we'll get straight on. Woo. Ah. 
Are we warm yet, guys? I think so. So this one's another simple one. You're still working on your technique at the same time. It's obviously cardio based class, but then obviously you're still working on your technique. So this one's gonna be four straight punches. You're gonna start off with your jab, cross, jab, cross. You're gonna turn to your side. We're gonna go lead roundhouse, and then you're gonna go for a rear roundhouse. That's all it's gonna be. So it's four straight punches. One, two, three, four. Lead roundhouse, turn to your side. From there, you swing around, rear roundhouse. If you want to guys, got rear roundhouse. If you've not got any, if you're not using the bag, or if you're not using the pad, uh, pads or anything, you can just do four straight punches. Lead roundhouse, and then obviously we can go all the way around on that rear roundhouse if you want. Or we can just go from there, land it, and then land it to the back. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to go for two minutes, guys. <sighs> so we're going to go for two minutes. We're going to start from now. So you're up in your stance. Four straight punches. Turn to side for your lead roundhouse. And let's just go for that rear roundhouse. There we go. You could do it that way. So that's just, it's obviously just following through because I've not got a pad or anything. So you're just going to go all the way through. You can do it the other way. So you've done your lead roundhouse, landed there. You're coming with that rear roundhouse and then bringing it back to, landing it back to the back. So you're putting that chamber on it and then landing it back. So we're going to go for two minutes from now. So it's just going to be jab, cross, jab, cross, lead roundhouse. And then that rear roundhouse on the end. That's it. So it's just jab, cross, jab, cross. Turn to your side, back end nice and tight. Lead roundhouse. And then that rear roundhouse. Or you can do it that way. That's it. That's it. So keep it going. It's just four straight punches. Roundhouse, roundhouse. That's it. That's it. So keep it going guys, you've got a minute 30 left. So it's just roundhouse, roundhouse. Roundhouse, roundhouse. That's it, keep it going. So it's just nice and simple stuff. Really good for the cardio, as you can see, because I'm out of breath. So as I said, you've got one minute left. So it's just four straight punches. Turn to your side, back end nice and tight, lead roundhouse, rear roundhouse. That's it, four straight punches. Ah. Lead roundhouse, rear roundhouse, there we go. So keep going, you've got 45 seconds. That's it. So it's just. That's it. That's it, keep it going. That's it, you've got 25 seconds left. Nice and simple. Four straight punches. Lead roundhouse, rear roundhouse. That's it, keep it going. You've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and time. We're just gonna finish off with a quick burnout. So we're just gonna finish off with 30 second straight punches. Then we're gonna go to 30 second uppercuts. And then we're gonna just go to 30 second hooks. So it's one and a half minutes, and then we're done. So I'll give you 10 seconds to catch your breath back. So we're gonna start off, you're in your boxing stance. 30 second straight punches. We're gonna go from five, four, three, Two, one, so you just go for your straight punches. That's it, remember to keep your, your punches at shoulder height. That's it. That's it, keep it going. Always remember to bring it back to your guard. If you want to do it slower, so you're working on your guard. That's it, you've got 10 seconds. That's it, keep it going. Keep it going, you've got five, four, three, Two, one, I'm straight into these uppercuts. We're just rolling them. That's it, keep it going. Just rolling them, you can roll them really fast. That's it, keep it going. You've got 15 seconds. 
That's it, keep it going. There we go, keep going. You've got five, four, three, two, one. I'll finish off there, second hook punch it. That's it. There we go. Keep going, 15 seconds. That's it, keep going, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Strip your gloves off, get yourself a quick drink. I'll have a bit of a quick stretch. Woo! Don't know about you guys, but I'm, woo. So grab yourself a drink and then we'll have a quick stretch. So I'm just gonna start off with the um, quad stretch. So I'm just gonna kneel on the floor. I like to have my heels just a bit further apart so you can obviously, you can fit your bum in between, in between your heels. Put your hands on the floor and then you're just leaning back. So you're stretching your quads, just leaning back on them guys. And then obviously you're just getting that stretch in. Just stretching these quads off. If you struggle to do it that way guys, you can obviously do it on your knees like that. And you can lean back like that. So it's obviously from this position. And my feet are flat on the floor. And just leaning back a little bit. And it's the same, it's just still stretching the quads. There we go guys. So just gonna stretch them off a little bit. I'll give you 10 seconds on that one, keep stretching. That's it. That's it, and time. If you get up on your feet, guys. So I'm just gonna stretch the quads again. So this time, we're just gonna grab, grab your ankle. Obviously, try and get your balance. Uh, obviously, uh, hold your hip here. And then, obviously, you're just stretching that quad off again. That's it. That's it, keep it going. And then we go, then you're gonna swap over. Swap to that side. Get your balance, and then you're going to stretch that one off. That's it. There we go. We're going to have to hold my ear again. There we go. Stretching that one off. That's it. There we go. And just shake them off a little bit. Then we're just obviously going to go with our arms a little bit. We're just going to obviously go for that chest stretch. If you pull really back on your arms, you're stretching your biceps at the same time. So you should feel that pull if you're doing the real big, so you're stretching your chest, into your arms, your biceps, obviously your shoulders a little bit, traps are going to be working as well. So we'll just, that's it, just bring them together, stretch them back out, that's it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to roll them, so you're just going to roll it, I know it looks like I'm flapping, but as you doing little circles, so we're just going to circle forward. That's it. And then we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna go backwards. You should be feeling this in your arms, into your trap area, in the back. That's it. That's it. And we're just gonna finish off with a quick um, leg stretch. So we're just gonna go into, a, we're not gonna go full box and splits or anything. So I'm just about, I don't know, quite obviously you can see. So I can't actually touch my feet, obviously we're just going to go from that angle and then same again, you're just, you're just stretching your legs off, you should be feeling that more on the inside of your leg, into your hamstrings, down to your knees, and we're just stretching them off, you go from one side to the other, and say the more you practice, the more obviously you can start going a bit lower, and say obviously it's always good to be stretching when you're warm, don't do it cold because you can injure yourself quite bad. So I say, just going into that position. And obviously once you get a little bit more comfortable, then obviously that's when you can start going down a bit lower. And obviously starting to warm them legs up a bit like that. As I say, as I've been saying in the videos, um, you're gonna feel discomfort, but if you feel pain, you need to stop. And then obviously we've just stretched our legs off a little bit. We're just gonna roll these hips off, just to warm them back up. That's it. There we go. And that's it guys. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Obviously cardio based one today. Um, 
Lee's got, I think Lee's got a points class in 25 minutes. So obviously tune in for that. Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've had uh, a good Easter. Hope lockdown's not affecting you too bad. And I'll see you soon, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to bow you out. Hands and feet together. Curse some respect. There we go. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.